And here now we can see that I can view my different wise cams uh, on the fire sticks on TVs around my house, which is pretty useful. There we go. Hey there folks, Peter here, and today I was going to take a look with you at the WISE version 3 indoor-outdoor camera, and more specifically, uh, how you can update the firmware for this camera to run RTSP. What is RTSP? That is real-time streaming protocol. When you get this out of the box, really it just hooks up to the WISE uh, cloud services and in order to stream anything you need to access the cloud services or the app to see the camera. RTSP actually makes the camera uh, put out a signal for lack of better words on your local network uh, and you can have other uh, computers or programs pull the stream directly from the camera instead of having to go <laughs> through the internet through the cloud and back to the the uh, device that's trying to access. So long story short, RTSP is going to let you directly access the camera and the feeds directly from it. And the reason why I want to do this is so that I can see my camera feeds on my Amazon Fire Sticks around my house on my TVs and that's why I'm doing it. So you're going to go to the WISE website here. Interestingly, you're going to go to the support area I guess what I was going to mention is if you go to the V3 camera area and look at the articles and look at the RTSP article, it says it does not support RTSP and they're currently working on it. However, this uh, new beta firmware just came out very recently, so maybe they haven't updated this. In the search bar in the support area, if you just search RTSP and look at WISEM RTSP, it's going to talk about version 1, version 2, and now actually version 3 as well. And so right here it actually has a link to the RTSP firmware file uh, in this article. So you can click on that. It's going to download to your computer in a zip file. This zip file has a bin file inside of it. That is the firmware file. So you're going to take your micro SD card and go ahead and put that in your computer however you can and you're just going to copy this bin file directly to the root directory of this micro SD card so that's the first step go ahead and do that okay here is my WiseCam version 3 it is all ready uh, I took it out I went ahead with the setup instructions you do want to go ahead and set it up get it connected to your Wi-Fi and all all ready to go and everything so here we have it. it is all ready uh, the reason why you want to have this connected and all set to go is because after the firmware upgrade it's going to reconnect to the same exact Wi-Fi and settings that you currently have on have it on uh, I will mention that this is a beta firmware what that also means is that this is not going to receive new updates automatically of new features that WISE pushes out. So be aware of that. Uh, since it's a beta, it does not get automatically updated. And uh, it's, it's kind of like a do-at-your-own-risk type of thing. It's no big deal. I've done it uh, probably about nine times now, and it's been just fine. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my camera off. If you have an SD card already in here, then you're going to want to remove it. And we have this SD card, of course, with our firmware bin file on it. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And I don't have to close it or anything because we're going to take it out again in a moment. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the setup button while it is uh, turning back on. So I'm holding in the setup button and I'm turning the power back on. Let's see if you can see it here. I'm going to hold in that setup button until the light turns purple. It's kind of hard to see in this camera. It's not really showing the color very well, but to my naked eye the color has turned purple so I can let go of setup. And it's going to go through doing a number of things here. 
it's going to reboot a couple times. Right now it's purple. I think at times it, it flashes red and it flashes blue and stuff like that. Uh, you want to let it do its thing for a while. If it, if everything goes correctly, it'll probably only take like a couple minutes. And you will know that it is completed when you can once again go into the Wise app and bring it up again. Uh, right now it's not completed, so it's just sitting there on one of three. And you might see here it's doing some different flashing. It's, it's going on through its business of upgrading. Uh, flashing blue, I think that's what it does when it's looking for the Wi-Fi. Solid blue, I think, means that it is back on the Wi-Fi. So I'm once again going to try getting back into it here. One, two, three. All right. Hello, it's me. Uh, now I'm going to actually move over to the app. Now that it's back up and running again, uh, you, <laughs> you might notice that if you had SD card settings to record, that there will be a folder in here that automatically records on this SD card. I'm going to take this SD card out now. Ah. Use my little pen cap here. This is hard to get out sometimes. Okay, I got the SD card back out. Now, on the actual... Let's see, I'll flip it up here. On the app here, I'm going to go into the gear icon and go to advanced settings. And way down at the bottom, we should see RTSP, which is right there. There's a dog barking, because he always barks. I love my neighbor dog. No, I don't. All right, so I'm going to turn on RTSP. It's going to want you to set a username and password for each and every uh, camera that you do this with. I'll just put in my name. And then, I don't know, on this occasion, I'll just put in password. So you want to come up with a username and password and hit generate URL. If it goes correctly, you should see that it has an actual RTSP address for you that you can copy and you can paste that into any program that takes an RTSP feed on your local network. And it will pull the camera feed directly from this camera now. Oh yeah, one last thing. If it does not pull the feed when you first try it, uh, from the camera, then what you should do is come back to the settings of this camera, go all the way to the bottom, and just hit restart. That will reboot the camera, and when it comes back up, it should work better. I've had a few where I've had to do the restart before the feed would actually effectively work. And here now we can see that I can view my different wise cams uh, on the fire sticks on TVs around my house, which is pretty useful. There we go.